Now it is time to learn what we can do with information registers using program code. Before we proceed, we need to pay attention to two critical aspects that determine the way we handle registers of this kind. When dealing with a register using code, we should consider whether the register is periodic. If so, we can utilize appropriate methods and retrieve data broken down by time. As mentioned earlier, if a register is subordinate to a recorder, only documents can add records to the register. Let's take register price change with periodicity disabled to demonstrate the full set of features available for handling and handling information registers via program code. As usual, we start with creating a common form. We want it to be as simple as possible. Placing several commands on the form should be totally enough. First, we create the single record manager with method create record manager. The role of this record manager is to manage single records. We can either add, read, or delete a record from a register. Thus, we have created an object of type information register record manager dot currencies. Use the syntax assistant to learn more about the record manager functionality. Learn about its properties and methods. The single record manager is available for independent information registers only. Now let's go and switch to 1C Enterprise mode and make some arrangements in our register currencies. For convenience, as we proceed with our experiment, we want to keep a limited number of records in the register. So let us add a new record to see what happens. Go back to designer mode and add code to create a record set. We begin by introducing several parameters required for our record set. The idea is simple. We pick a week and create one record for every day of the week. The rate on the first day is 0.8, and with each day it goes up by 0.01 until the week ends. We create a record set of type information register record set dot currencies utilizing method create record set. The role of information register record sets is to manage groups of records. A record set itself is a collection of information register records. We get a record set by applying a specific criterion or filter. It is possible to read, create, and delete record sets. We set filter euro to dimension currency. Now with this, all further actions apply only to register records with the respective value set to euro. For example, if method write has the default value true or an empty value, all previous records with value euro get removed and replaced with the new ones from our record set. Here is the result that we get. With no filter enabled, the platform applies this record set to all records in the register. With parameter replace for method write set to true, we get the following result. As we see, all previous records have been deleted and replaced with new ones. And this is why the filter and parameter replace for method write is so important. Now we add records to our record set utilizing method add specifying for each record resource dimension and period values during the week the currency rate changes by 0 0.01 every day and here is a very important step in method write we set a value for parameter replace with true the default value all records that meet the criterion set by the filter euro in our case gets deleted and replaced with the new ones from the record set if false the new records get added to the previous ones 
So let's check what we can do in 1C Enterprise mode by pushing the respective button. As you can see, the new records have been added to the existing ones.